On this episode of the Brock Rock SMP, I finish up the uh, vacation house and we start looking at the keep area. Hey guys, we're back on the Brock Rock. This is episode 29. And I had some time, went in and finished up, to, I think, what I wanted to do over here on the uh, the beach house, beach vacation house. And uh, I know the last video I edited cut over on the Mushroom Island, and that's where we'll go back for most of the video. But I just wanted to show you guys what I did. Uh, had a few things, feedback from different people, uh, Mustang Grill, another Brook Rockery. Uh, and, uh, and I was just thinking about it that same night and had some ideas on how to improve the looks inside. First of all, we got some chairs on the outside, give it a little bit more detail. But the big reveal is, ta-da, <laughs> we got put the furnaces underneath and I think that looks way better. We can use them so they're still functional, but in reality, we may not use them a lot. And I've used these trap doors in quite a few places, as you can tell. But I think it looks a lot better. It looks like a, you know, a fancier desk up here. Got them on the end of tables, end of seating, <laughs> up here in the fireplace. Kind of gives it a way to look a little more finished, I think. Kind of like you put some finished trim on, on uh, the masonry work in real life. And then we come over here, and I switched uh, the carpet out here on the table. Same way for these trap doors. I think they look a little nicer. I oriented them so they they look uh, look good, I think. Again, we got some uh, ends on our sofa here. And I think it made our chair look a little bit better. And we topped off one of the uh, chest over here. And for our other table, you know, it, it kind of gives us like a uh, drawing surface working area. So I, I, I think that's pretty good. I think that kind of finishes it off what it, what it needed to be done. Uh, here too, I added some seating. So, as for now, I think the beach house itself is done. Uh, we may do some more landscaping, maybe add some chairs and stuff out here uh, along that area. Maybe uh, build a fishing dock somewhere. Because right now, what we do is all we have is our landing dock for a boat. But uh, let me know, guys, what you think. And I'll, I'll get on, I'll do a cut, and we'll be back over and be working on the project uh, on the Mushroom Island. Okay, we're over in the Mushroom Island. I've, I've done a little bit, of started some layout, and we've got a couple watch tires that I'm, I'm adding over here. And uh, I think we'll end up putting wood down the layers, the side kind of showing. I mean, that might be a little opposite of what normally is done. Normally it'd be wood and then stone supports, but you know, that's me a little bit different. So, and we're just going up to 76 on the, uh, height oh minion left and then we'll come out an extra wide layer for the crown on the top oh mouse went crazy okay okay so this last layer and then we'll put our crown And for these two joined tires here. And for our crown, we just need to go on the outside of it. Not like that. It's the only bad thing. Sometimes this works perfectly, especially if you're over larger heights. Okay, and then we got three counting in the corner. And then a space in between. And there we go. Um, I don't know if we should add anything else extra to it. Maybe like 
corner one more height. Um, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, okay, I think we will do that. Corner is one more height. One more high on the blocks. Just a little extra touch. And then we'll go down and see what they look like from below. I added some uh, uh, stairs here. Yeah, okay, I think, yeah, that looks a lot better. Uh, there wasn't anything there before, then I opened that up here in the middle, too. I probably should put glass in there just to kind of give it another view. Because at this height, you couldn't really see what was going on unless you were up here in these posts. But, you know, say if you want to have some guards stationed here, you know, with the glass being out here, there'll still be a, a row that they can get in and stand on. And then I made these little uh, faces come out. Give a little more detail too. Okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut here. I'll be back. I, I'll, I'll grab my wood that I want to use for here, and then um, we're gonna, we're gonna need to make some stables. That's another addition I'm gonna add over here. But I'm just gonna cut, and we'll come back. Um, I don't know if I'll show the details. It's kind of boring, and sometimes it takes me a little longer to actually do it than what it needs to be done and so save time for everybody uh may just cut and come right back okay guys i'm back with the stables i think i'm finished up pretty good with it uh we got a couple different things we got some cauldron for the water in here uh we've got uh gates for separating all the animals out and everything we got kind of a temporary holding area here and then pins uh, on each corner, each side. Uh, we could put some gates here too, probably to handle some more incoming, but we, but I haven't. And then we got some iron bars and uh, what do you call these guys? Uh, scaffolding <laughs> to break up uh, all the spruce color. I think that helps out quite a bit. The scaffolding it gives a little brightness to it. And uh, we see the roof, pretty high pitched, basically like a 12 by 12 pitch in real life. But we've got a little bit of detail. Uh, we can create an area over here for cooking uh, over some of the uh, our caverns down underneath. So I think that's, that's looking pretty good up there. Got a couple other little buildings over here. Kind of a area here where they can come in and rest. Uh, and then this could be another little watering place where the guys come in and you get water and everything. Uh, I've got a tower over here that I built. Uh, kind of does what will be like for the housing of, of the different soldiers and stuff. So I think it's pretty good. We could have some more stables down here at the bottom maybe. Um, for more animals if we need to. And then we just got uh, two extra floors up here. And still need some lights. I probably need to make some of those uh, iron the lanterns, the new lanterns. I think they look pretty good. A little bit expensive, I guess, according to some people. But uh, we've been doing pretty good with iron this, this season, Jen and I. So it's not, not too big a deal. I still got quite a bit of iron left over. And then our first uh, stable over here. Need to eat. And if you're interested in this pack I got, guys, uh, go check it out. I have it down in the description. But we got some animals here. They're spitting all over each other, but that's where the wandering trader guys usually go. Uh, I take their their llamas and put them in here, but I haven't done that in a while. So I think we got some of the area done. It could use some more detail. Uh, if I have time, I'll work on it. But there's a lot of these caverns and crevices down here, so I've just kind of covered them up, give a little detail around them. Put a torch away if it's dark, you can come over and see the light. Uh, but I think it, everything looks pretty good. Uh, you know, if you think you have, there should be any more changes or, or ideas, uh, let me know. Leave it down in the comments. Maybe some up down, upside down stairs along this. 
give it a little more beef since it is such a, a big structure. But anyway, I hope you guys had a great weekend. Uh, hope you all have fun uh, next week, Cyber Week. And I'll see you guys in the next episode of Brock Rock.